Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back at it again with another Pokemon illustration. I absolutely love doing these Pokemon drawings. So today I am doing an illustration of uh, the Sinnoh starters. So this is Piplup, Chimcha and Turtwig. And uh, these are actually my favorite starters because uh, Sinnoh for life. <laughs> Anyways, the reason I'm doing these is because uh, Sinnoh Pokemon have finally been added to Pokemon Go. Now, since I've been playing Pokemon Go since the whole start, I've always wanted these guys in the game because they're one of my favorites and uh, I feel a lot of nostalgia for them because uh, uh, Pokemon Pearl was actually uh, not the first Pokemon game I played, but it was the first Pokemon game I completed and I logged so many hours into that game, I got a little bit obsessed and that's basically where my Pokemon obsession started. Anyways, uh, back to the illustration, um, I'm actually doing the line art here in Procreate, which is an app on my iPad. Now I just decided to do a uh, digital line art for this video because I just really felt like getting back into my iPad and doing that digital line art because it just has such a nice crisp feel to it. And yeah, I'm so happy I did that because the line art, the line art came out just so perfect and yeah I, that, that, that does make me sound like I'm up myself and uh, you know trying to say my art's perfect it's not I'm just saying the line art just came out as good as I could get it anyways uh, so basically what I did was I printed out the line art onto some of my new Reeves mixed media paper now a few times the printer did not want to print and it just spat the paper out and said there was a jam but I just like kept trying to make it print on it and it, it eventually cooperated so yeah. So today I am using my Copic markers to uh, colour in this piece. Surprise surprise she's using her markers again. Yep but you know what they're my favourite medium and uh, yeah I had a lot of fun doing this. So I started off as you can see with Chimcha and I used a bunch of oranges and earth tones and some yellows for his skin. And I tried to keep the colours uh, slightly simple, not doing any intense shading with different colours. Mainly because I wanted these colours to just be really, really vibrant and uh, clean and fresh. And a bit cartoony because, you know, it's Pokemon. And I have to say, since finishing this illustration, I am so pleased with the colours. They just came out so nice. <laughs> so as you can tell, I'm actually pretty pleased with this. So finishing off Chimcha, uh, I started on Turtwig next and I used a mix of uh, some grass greens, uh, light yellow green and uh, just a few different greens here and there to get the colours right. Now um, obviously I didn't do it perfect because you can see some streakiness in Turtwig, however honestly I don't think it's too bad and I'm pretty happy with it. For the yellow parts on Turtwig I actually used pale yellow and a bit of cadmium yellow as well. Uh, just to get a nice sort of soft, uh, slight gradient on the highlights and shadows of that part. For his back I used a mix of uh, some E70 colours along with uh, Carob Cocoa as well just to add a little bit of uh, saturation and also a tiny bit of pale yellow in the highlights. Now going on to Piplup, I actually used a mix of uh, Robin's Egg, Robin's Egg Blue? Yes, it's Robin's Egg Blue and uh, Frost Blue for the light parts. And then I also used a little bit of Royal Blue and Process Blue. Now for the white parts on Piplup, I just used some cool greys with a very, very tiny amount of blue. Now for the background I am using my Copic airbrush system which I am absolutely in love with. If you have seen my previous videos uh, I would use this thing a lot and I'm so happy with how the results turn out so I love using this more and more to try and get a feel for how it works and uh, see if I can improve and it's just a lot of fun and satisfying to use so that's why I use it a lot. But uh, for the background, I wanted a sort of uh, simple but also really bright and colourful and contrasty 
uh, sort of background and I wanted to have uh, sort of green colors near Turtwig, uh, some warm yellowy and orangey colors near Piplup, not Piplup, Chimchar, sorry, <laughs> and then some like bluey and purpley colors near Piplup. Uh, so yeah, I basically just did a sort of slight rainbowy gradient uh, around them and I had a lot of fun getting all those colors in while also making sure there was a little bit of variation in the tone because I didn't want it just flat color, uh, which is sort of boring. I wanted a bit of variation and uh, you know some little patchy parts where uh, bits were slightly different. I felt like that was a bit fun and interesting to do. For the masking off of the characters in this illustration, I basically just laid a piece of paper over them and sort of uh, drew around the outline while leaving a bit of a gap on the edges and then I basically cut that piece of paper out and then I taped it down with some uh, masking tape while also using my uh, X-Acto knife to cut around the edges so that there was a nice crisp edge around them. I also made sure to leave a bit of a white outline around the Pokemon just so that I had a sort of white edge on them because I really really like that when you have a sort of dark and vibrant background sometimes it's nice to leave a white edge around the, uh, the characters because it makes them stand out so much more and ma almost makes them look like they pop off the page as if it's like a sticker that's been stuck down I don't know I just I really love that look and you've probably seen me use it quite a bit in my artworks So now is time to peel off the masking and I find this part so satisfying just to see that uh, tape and paper peel off and you can just see that crisp outline and it's basically like a reveal. So after I did that I felt like I wanted to add just a little bit more to this illustration. So I actually went in with my pencils over the top of that background and I basically just uh, drew in some little shapes. So for the shapes of uh, Turtwig, I added some little leaves. Now I made sure that they were all slightly different and you know, slightly more curved and uh, pointing different directions just to have a little bit of variance. And uh, for Chimchar, I did some little flame shapes. And of course for Piplup on that blue background, I am drawing in some bubbles, which I actually find so satisfying to look at. So anyways, uh, we're getting to the end of the video. Here is the final result and I'm just so happy with this. Like I am absolutely pleased with how this turned out. I just think the colors are just mm. And uh, yeah, all of the details I'm just so happy with. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're still here, I wanna thank you a lot. <laughs> and uh, please check out my videos uh, on the screen. Also hit that like and subscribe button. I really wanna get to 8,000 subs soon. I'm so excited because I'm really close to it. <laughs> and yeah, I'll thank you guys again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.